My name's David. Thanks for watching Storybound. Let's talk about Wistful Ascending by JCM Burn. But first off, I want to thank the Escapist Book Tours for providing my copy of Wistful Ascending and including me on this book tour. As a Canadian, these usually come in a little bit later towards the end of the time frame to read. Uh, so it was cool to see one come in early. Um, thanks, Canada Post, for once uh, you, you did your jobs. Awesome. If you're not following Escapist Book Tours, check out at Escapist Book Co for tons of great book recommendations and giveaways, and subscribe to their newsletter to stay up to date. I'll have links below to all the other great locations you can check out on this book tour. There's some great stops as seen on screen. JCM Byrne has reached middle aged without outgrowing the notion that superheroes are cool. Code Monkey by day. By night, he slaves over a hot keyboard to prove that superhero stories can be engaging and funny without being dark or silly. Also, I'm going to be a bit presumptuous here that where the MC of the book, Rohan, is Canadian. Uh, with a quote from Hybrid Helix, is the only Tollywood inspired superhero book you've considered this year. I'll also assume that JCM is Indian Canadian, so either way, that's a huge win in my books. As for the book, Rohan, our main character, retires from his career as a weapon of mass destruction. Rohan wants little more than a decent coffee, a chance for romance, and a career that doesn't result in half a galaxy shuddering at the mention of his name. When a long dormant warden hall opens near his employer, the sentient space station Wistful, the Emperor takes a renewed interest in the system. As scientists and spies converge, Rohan struggles to protect his friends and his peaceful life without again becoming the type of monster that can't have either. This book has strong anime and kaiju vibes. One of the quotes provided is if Harry Dresden and Thor had a baby, and DBZ with 100% less constipation. And I'd have to agree, a lot of this so far has been with great introspection and flirtatiousness of a good Dresden Files book, and the combat you've come to expect from a good manga, kaiju battles included. I would also say this book shares similar vibes to something like Bobbyverse, with the type of conversations and existence of sentient spaceships throughout the novel and all in all is a really fun time. This book is fast paced and is relatively simple in terms of how things eventually play out, although with a few surprises. It took advantage of this fairly simple story of a man trying to move on from his past and who he once was and leaned into it, allowing us to learn a lot about our main character. And it feels very personal, like we have a lot of time to learn about Rohan and his quirks and his taste in music, food, women, and friends. His shadow past, however, does loom over him and we can feel how hard it is as he works to become a better person and strive to be more like his idol from the comics as a child. You will learn more about his powers, his origin, and whether or not he can live up to his own expectations by the end of the book. The second book in the series is also out, Return of the Griffin, it can be picked up on Kindle Unlimited. I for one can't wait to dig in for more space battles, sentient spaceships, and ancient civilizations, and to find out if the space bears will eventually open a sushi restaurant. All in all, I really liked this one, and I highly recommend checking it out. Either way, my name's David, thanks again for watching Storybound. And as always, have a good one.